In 2018, Germany faces a fundamental decision. How can the climate be protected while also securing jobs and prosperity in the four German coal mining regions? Instead of a top-down government decision, Chancellor Angela Merkel relied on stakeholders developing a solution themselves. This meant all voices had to be heard. The Chancellor brought together representatives of all groups affected by the coal phase-out, environmental NGOs, trade unions, scientists, industry and the mayors of the affected municipalities. It was clear that renewable energies had to be expanded, but it was also clear that coal-fired power generation had to be phased out. The point was that we were in a major social conflict. The federal government very clearly formulated its expectations of this commission, which is rightly called Growth, Structural Change and Employment. It was therefore about a socially acceptable coal phase-out and a date for the coal phase-out. The first thing is that those who work in coal-fired power generation do an important and good job for Germany every day that they do not have to bear the burden alone in the coal phase-out. I'm Michael Vasiliadis, president of the Mining, Chemical and Energy Industrial Union. My name is Barbara Pretorius. My name is Barbara Pretorius, and I'm a professor at the University of Applied Sciences in Berlin and a climate economist. My name is My name is Christina Hentier, and I am mayor of the city of Spremberg since 2014. My name is Holger Lösch. I represent the Federation of German Industries, the umbrella organization of all industrial associations in Germany. At the end of the day, I believe that the most important goal for us was to ensure that the rights of companies are protected in such a premature termination of business models. In other words, property rights. The crucial point in the Commission's discussion was the mediation between the environmental forces and the coal mining regions. Coal-fired power stations have traditionally played an important role in Germany. In 2018, they still produce 35% of Germany's electricity. The German coal-producing regions directly employed around 32,000 workers. Hundreds of thousands of people identify with the 200-year history of coal mining. Yet one-third of Germany's CO2 emissions come from the chimneys of coal and lignite-fired power stations. For climate neutrality to be achieved, the coal phase-out is therefore inevitable. The interests of the workers, the interests of industry, the interests of the municipalities and also the interests of the environmental associations were really at odds with each other. And at the beginning it was clearly noticeable that there was a great deal of mistrust. I think that the Commission became a focus point for a lot of underlying already existing conflicts. During the negotiations, the trade unions demonstrated in the morning, and two hours later, the Fridays for Future were in front of the Commission meeting rooms. I remember a moment when I thought, now it's failed. After a break in the negotiations, one of the members of a smaller negotiating group was sitting on the edge of his chair, in his jacket and with his briefcase looking as if he was about to go home. And it was only because we succeeded in breaking down this mistrust that it was possible at all for all of us, really all of us, to commit to this goal after the first one or two months. We had considerable conflict on the last night of negotiations. It was in the edge of a knife whether we would reach an agreement. Surprisingly, it ended up being the year of the phase-out, in which year will coal-fired power generation in Germany end. When the result was there and the agreement was there, after 16 hours of negotiations, I was tired, wanted a shower and thought it was good that we had a result. And I also thought about the fact that the next day I would have to explain it to 14,000 employees at a coal-fired plant company. Die wichtigsten Ergebnisse der Kohlekommission sind erstens, es gibt ein Enddatum. The most important results of the Coal Commission are firstly that there is an end date for coal-fired power generation. Secondly, it has been possible to find reasonable solutions for the ownership of companies 
so it's clear that there can be no expropriation without compensation. And the third is that it has at least become clear that the end of coal only makes sense if we also get a start on something new. And by that I mean all these considerations on how the coal mining regions can also get a new added value, a new structure, a new quality of life for the people there. The most important result, in my opinion, is the clear formulated phase-out sequence for power plants and the clear commitment that renewable energies must be expanded to compensate for this. There are clear prerequisites for the success of such a coal commission, as it was called in Germany. All members of the commission have gained acceptance in their communities, in their spheres of action, and we urgently need this, more acceptance for social change. In the Commission, everyone had to take a beating. Everyone had to jump a little over their shadow in one way or another. And I think that this is the very art of compromise. In my view, for a Commission like the Coal Commission to be successful, it needs at least three things. First, a good organization of the process, clear mandates, framework conditions and resources. Secondly, you need the selection of the organization and the persons from these organizations to follow a goal, namely to take organizations that are also able and willing to agree to compromises and send persons who can also represent and enforce this. The third thing is that you need leadership. You need leadership in this, both from the Commission leadership and from each individual, in the sense that you do not react to every provocation and to every topic as an escape option, but rather stay on target and keep the topic focused on the goal over and over again. After just seven months of joint work, the Coal Commission almost unanimously presented its final report, a concept that will ensure the country can phase out coal and implement the commitments of the Paris Agreement at the same time. I would recommend the model for other countries if they can set up the conditions, if the groups that are involved there have the prerequisites. But I think what is very important is that other countries want to move from fossil value creation structures to other value creation structures, either because they want to have it for their country or because climate agreements require them to try to find ways that are well adapted to their national and cultural circumstances, so that they can talk sensibly about such ways into the future. Gegebenheiten gut angepasst sind, um vernünftig über über solche Wege in die Zukunft zu reden. From my point of view, no one has been ripped off. It was a very good experience, also for me. Sehr gute Erfahrung auch für mich. I think the task we did is so important and I would do it again in a heartbeat.